The Girl Who Gave Breadfruit. Our story begins with two girls cooking breadfruit for their families on a mountaintop. While they were cooking, an older woman appeared, walking towards them. The older woman then approached the two girls and asked them to share fruit. The older girl did not want to share, but the younger girl thought of her grandmother and gave the woman some of her own. The woman quickly ate the hot bread fruit. Once she was done, she got up and started to walk away. She stopped and warned the family that weird things would start happening and to place Kappa outside their homes. After the woman had left, the two girls then began to walk home. Later that day, the young girl told the grandmother, mother, and father about the old woman. She explained that the old woman had come asking for food, and she had shared her breadfruit with her, with her own grandmother in mind. She then told them what the woman had said. Her mother and father looked at the grandmother with worry. The grandmother then explained that the woman they had met was Pele. The mother began to lay kapa around their home. Look, Pele is angry. She's stirring the fire on the pit of Mauna Loa. Her eyes, they are the same like the old woman. But the lava is flowing. Somewhere it is flowing. <gasps> Pele is sending her lava to destroy those who have made her angry. The lava is coming this way. Her best offerings have already been made. No offering made now can turn aside the anger of Pele. She will punish those that have been unkind to her. Oh no, said the girl. Let us run. The wall of lava is coming for us. They shall be safe, said the grandma. Those were the words of Pele who never forgets. The lava had spread around the village. They were saved. They rejoiced and prayed and gave thanks to Pele. Yet. Yeah.